Coach Morrow here again. One more quick video for you guys. Let's talk a little bit about posting at the net one more time because it's very important. A lot of people playing doubles out there, recreationally, having fun with their friends, and this is very useful, guys. You all know my philosophy about posting at the net with your racket far away from you. You don't want to have the racket butt cap close to your tummy here, your handle of the racket close to you. This is a no-no because you're tangled up here. You're, you're, you're tight. Your freedom of maneuvering the racket is, is no good. You know, your skill level is, is, is shut down here. Plus, the tendency to hit your volley late is so big. It's very rare to have a person start from here and go volley out in front. So we want to keep the racket already out in front to begin with. Let's suppose I'm playing doubles here. My partner's going to return serve on the ad, on the deuce court. I'm on the ad court. Let's say, let's call this stage one. I have my racket starting off in front, not here. This is good. Point starts, I'm where I'm supposed to be here. On guard, ready to fight. Stage two would be like after the point gets going, a lot of people drop the racket then. So if you want to do good, not just start the point with the racket up now in front, but keep it there as the point goes on. Let's go beyond stage three. So if you're here and you make a volley and you come back here, Take another volley and you come back here. Because a lot of people start the point here, keep the racket during the point here, and as soon as they make a volley, they forget and drop it here. Then your next one is going to be late again. So once again, start the point with the racket out in front. Keep the point, the racket out in front during the point. And if you have to make a volley, get your racket right back up here again for the next possible volley. And I'm going to call the fourth stage of development of doing this well it's when you're back here and you have to hit an approach shot to go to the net. After you hit the approach shot, come in with your racket already out in front. Don't come in with it here and then wait for you to post to put it out in front. After you hit your approach shot, already run in with your racket ready to go. It'll make your job a lot easier once you post and split step. All right, guys, start the point with the racket in position. Keep it in position during the point. Go back to the position after you make a volley. And if you hit an approach and come into the net, come in with your racket out front too. And you'll see your volley skills blossom. I'll see you out there. Keep practicing hard. Cheers. It's a wrap. Coach Morrow signing off. I'll see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.